Most people don't move around when they sleep, right? Sure, you might have the occasional tossing and turning, but overall sleep is characterized by something called muscle atonia. Muscle atonia, simply put, is the relaxed state of the muscles that occurs during REM sleep, or rapid eye movement. There are multiple stages that your brain cycles through during sleep, which can be measured by electrodes. When you just start to fall asleep, muscle activity slows down and you can be woken up relatively easily. Entering stage one, you no longer move your eyes and we mostly see brain waves slowing down with some periodic fast waves. During stage two, we start to see extremely slow brain waves called delta waves with some fast waves in between. In stage three, the brain produces these extremely slow delta waves almost exclusively. Stage two and three together are considered to be deep sleep. During REM sleep, as the name suggests, the eyes move quickly in random directions. Heart rate and breathing increases. However, the limbs are temporarily paralyzed. This is muscle atonia. There is, however, a sleep disorder known as REM sleep behavior disorder, RBD for short, that is characterized by a lack of muscle relaxation. Subjects with this disorder have been known to act out dreams during sleep, often in a very violent fashion. There is now evidence to suggest that RBD can be an early indicator for neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's and Lewy body dementia. In order to understand the implications of RBD, we must first nail down the mechanisms of muscle atonia. First of all, muscles are contracted and relaxed by motor neurons, which are located in the central nervous system. Pre-motor neurons in the brain send electric signals to motor neurons that will either tell them to turn off or turn on. In this case, if a motor neuron is turned on, a muscle will contract. If it is turned off, the muscle will relax. That being said, the nervous system has a number of chemicals known as neurotransmitters. Think of a neurotransmitter as something that can make a neuron either more or less likely to turn on. During sleep, the release of two neurotransmitters, GABA and glycine, make motor neurons less likely to turn on. As we already know, if a motor neuron is unable to turn on, its corresponding muscle cell is unable to contract. Thus, during REM sleep, for someone without RBD, many of the muscles in the body are relaxed, besides the diaphragm, which allows for breathing. But how does muscle atonia relate to neurodegenerative disease? As it turns out, there is a relatively strong correlation between subjects with RBD and the development of neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's or Lewy body dementia. As far as we know, a main cause of these diseases is the buildup of a protein called alpha-synuclein, eventually causing breakdown of neurons. The buildup of this very same protein has been found in patients with RBD. With enough aggregation of this protein, neurons in the spinal cord start to break down, specifically the inhibitory neurons that are responsible for transmission of GABA and glycine. If levels of GABA and or glycine are reduced during REM sleep, the result is hyperactivity of the muscle cells. This seems to explain the motor function that RBD patients display during REM sleep. Episodes of RBD can be very harmful on their own. However, new evidence about the alpha-synuclein protein relates RBD to neurodegenerative disease as a possible indicator for such disease. If that is the case, the onset of RBD presents a larger treatment window for complexes diseases that are often fatal. Thank you.